Hello everyone, this is the Gamer Dude 2088 and today we're doing a video on my little pony collectible card game. I see so many people doing the videos with MLPCCG and they're doing how to plays and I figure my turn to make a how to play video. Why not do one too? Since I'm going into this pony tubing thing, it seems like I'm getting closer and closer to something I want to gear my channel towards. Mostly games, but it seems like this is the most focus I have at this point in my life. So, why not go with it? This is not one of those videos where someone makes a video of how to play a card game or any kind of game. And they spend 25 minutes explaining an hour worth or two, three hours worth of rules and regulations for the game. I'm doing this over a course of videos, breaking it down piece by piece for the person like myself who kind of have a tough time understanding card games and things like this in general where need to really get into the subject a little bit at a time. And I'm going to go through it the way it's structured in the rule book from beginning to end. So let's get on with the video. These icons are the six type of cards that you will be using in MLPCCG. These cards are problem cards, main characters, friends, resources, events, and troublemakers. So just take a good look at it just to know what they are when you see them, which shouldn't be too much. Now let's get on to the cards. Problems. Problems are your basic win conditions of the game. And that's what they are, problems. You have to solve them. You have a, a win cap of 15 points, first to 15 wins. Problems are the most efficient way of making this win condition happen. As you can see in the icons, you have requirements that is needed to be able to confront the problem. Your opponent's requirements are at the top center, and your requirements are at the bottom center. Then you have the right center where it shows you your bonus points. You can receive a point for confronting the problem and then you receive your bonus points for being the first to confront the problem. And then there's other ways you receive bonus, but I will get on to that in a later video. Then you still have like your game text, which shows you other things that your card can provide for you or your opponent. And it might help or hinder, depending on what the game text may be. Now for the main character cards. The main character is the character you start the game off with. And will always be in the game from beginning to end. And can never be removed from the game. Excuse these next two images. Because I couldn't find any better ones online anywhere. And I had to take the pictures myself. So... Without further ado, on your main character, you have your start and your boosted side. And at the beginning of the game, you always go to your start side, which is indicated in your mid-upper left corner of your character card. Then you have your color. Each character in the game has a specific color, and that color is always needed to meet requirements of problems or playing other characters events resources in the game then you have your power your power is always going to be needed for solving problems it's pretty much a battle of who has the most power so keep that in mind when playing the game and building a deck in the future then you have your main character's game text and in the game text you have two sections you have your home limit, which is the limited amount of characters you can have at your home space at the end of your turn. And then you have your flip condition, which is the requirement is that is needed to be made to flip your main character to the boosted side. And when you flip him on the boosted side, notice that your character now has a few things different like your power has increased and the start says boosted now of course 
and your home limit has increased as well as your secondary part of your game text which is now no longer a flip condition which is an added ability for gameplay and that's always excellent to be able to flip your character as soon as possible but we're not going to get onto that we're going to move on to the next card type which is friends before i get into friends i would like to add that your main character is excluded from your home limit so if you have your main character at home and it hasn't flipped and your home limit is three and you have three friends at home as well your main character doesn't affect them being dismissed so now for the friend cards friends are similar to the main character but with a few added differences like your action token costs and your play requirements action tokens are used to pay for the cost of playing cards and activating certain card abilities throughout the game your play requirements is your color requirement and the amount of power you need for that color to be able to play that specific card with your friends they also have a some of them a game text which indicates when you can play that ability and what the ability does to affect the gameplay now for the event cards events have a one-time effect then they go to the discard pile events have a timing word the timing word is indicated in the game text as well as the friend cards with the timing word it generally happens on your main phase and if not your main phase it can happen on your opponent's turn but the timing word have to say face off or either reaction when either your opponent triggers a face off or you trigger a face off or your opponent does something that triggers the reaction of the event card then you have your resources resources are cards that represents objects locations and other assets within the game when you play resources they stay in play and you can either play them to home your your problem or your opponent's problem or one of your friends or your opponent's friends but it will indicate in the game text where you can play it and that's your resources now your troublemakers troublemakers are cards that you play on your problems and you play them face down on the problem until your troublemaker phase which i will go over more so in another video but it costs one action token to be played and then they have a point value that you receive for defeating your opponent's troublemaker and just like every card if you've been paying attention so far they all have a power value in the top right corner during face-offs that power value is needed and i will explain that also in another video when i do face-offs but that's the basics for your troublemaker cards i would like to also add with troublemakers once you play them face down on your turn either to your problem or your opponent's problem once it's your turn again you flip them face up during your troublemaker phase and cover your uh, opponent's requirements on that specific problem because they can't confront the problem while the troublemaker is in play and they must face off and defeat the troublemaker to gain the point and confront the problem now on your opponent's troublemaker phase the game text of the troublemaker activates and every troublemaker has a different game text that does different things during that part of the phase and it happens at the very beginning of the phase so before they able to face off with the troublemaker the troublemaker's ability happens first lastly is your reference cards you have your turn card and your score slider card your turn card shows you what you can do on your ready phase and your main phase kind of like a refresher of some sort so you can always refer back to it to know what all you can do 
your turn card also has at the bottom of it arrows pointing to your score and the action tokens you get per turn which is on the score slider card so you place the turn card on top of the score slider card and you put it at the first one at the bottom which is you have zero score but you have two action tokens per turn and at two score you go to three action tokens six score you go to four action tokens and 11 score you go to five action tokens per turn and the first person that gets 15 score wins the game and whenever whoever whether it's your opponent or you brings up the score so the amount of action tokens change both players receive that amount so generally you will punch your opponent in the face at the problem having a problem face off which it will be explained once again in another video and you score two points and you go from zero to two now you receiving three on your opponent's turn they will get three action tokens rather than the two that received during the beginning of the game during the start of the game and that's the cards that will be used throughout the game also that i forgot to add in the beginning your decks and i say decks plural because you have two different decks you have your problem deck which consists of your 10 problem cards the first card that we talked about in the beginning of the video and then you have your draw deck or your main deck of sort where it's a minimum of 45 cards where you have your not your main character because your main character already is in play but you have your friends your events your resources and your troublemakers your reference cards are off to the side so you can keep track of your action tokens and the score and this is the end of this video glad to have done this finally please like comment and subscribe wait until the next video where i go over important concepts and game setup so this gamer dude and i'm out